looks a bit better. <sighs> yes, it's hot. Um, controversy. And yeah, always something in the news. But the latest garbage, I wouldn't call it news, but the latest garbage is the uh, Shirley Sherrod situation. Um, of course, everybody knows how it transpired. Um, conservative fanatic and Fox News, you know, co conspirators. Um, they did the old Jeremiah Wright thing, dug up an old speech, took sound bites, and um, everybody fell for it, except for me. You know, I know how Fox News works. So, fuck Fox News. You know, it's nothing new. But what I'm ashamed about and appalled, matter of fact, I'm just angry. Um, the Obama administration flinched. NAACP flinched. Um, I mean, this this mess wasn't nothing but lies. Bottom line, I mean, <sighs> mission accomplished. But let's focus on uh, Shirley Sherrod, okay? The way that this woman was treated was just unfair, bottom line. I'm talking about from the Obama administration to the NAACP, um, everybody, except for me, was so quick to condemn this lady. But y'all got to consider the source, okay? When, you, when somebody has a hot story, if it's a conservative right on the front of it, Man, let me tell you something. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this, but this is how those conservative fanatics work. Okay? Now, let's go back a little bit. Okay, recently the NAACP called out the Tea Party members, you know, with their elements of racism within their organization. Okay? Several days later, in comes this piece of video, you know, edited so it'll sound like and look like that this black woman is a racist, okay? So, we have to consider the source and we have to look at the Tea Party because, um, they're saying, okay, the NAACP should join with the Tea Party. And now, uh uh, no, they should not. Okay, you have a right to protest or whatever, but um, I felt that this lady was treated unkindly. Uh, with all due respect, she's a beautiful person. I mean, if you saw the whole video, fine, but if you see the CNN interview with her, if you see the other interviews with her, and what she accomplished, she has, matter of fact, she has a wonderful story to tell. She's my hero. If you see what I saw and heard this lady, you will be inspired to help humanity out, okay? And like she said in her interview, and even in the full version of the video. It's not about black or white. It's about poor. And that's what got Martin Luther King killed. Okay? We gotta recognize that number one, these conservative fanatics, that's what I want to call them, these, these fanatics, along with Fox News, okay, they are up to no damn good. Okay, anytime some video come out when somebody calls them out on their bullshit, they're desperate. They are all about one thing, bringing down the Obama administration. Okay, but they didn't discredit this lady. Now, this lady's story had, had to come out. Because if you, I'm telling y'all, YouTube it. Go to this lady's videos, find her, her interviews. This is a beautiful lady, I'm telling you. Okay? Uh, that's it, man. I'm just, I'm just disgusted with, with the news. You know, Fox News, 
just strikes again. Business as usual. Spreading lies. You know, same thing with the Jeremiah Wright situation, you know, during the uh, presidential campaign. They took little sound bites, looped them, and, you know, that's business as usual as far as Fox. They have something, they do not, they want to separate everybody, okay? White and black is, is, is coming together, and y'all can't stop it. And they're using these dirty, race-baiting tactics to do the job, and we can't fall for it. We can't flinch. We got to look at the source. That's it, man. Y'all hit me up. I, I just had to speak out on this. I was quiet for a couple of days until I got the full news, you know, the real deal, the, the uncut. I didn't want the remix that Fox News, you know, they're talking points. If you call yourself a journalist and you're out there putting out half the truth, you're a liar. Still makes you a liar. Whatever happened to journalistic integrity? Whatever happened to truth in journalism? Okay? This lady has went above and beyond the call of duty on her job. I'm telling y'all, Shirley Sherrod, you my hero. And fuck Fox News.